Hey! How's everyone doing? Hello, welcome back. Did I turn my mic on? No, I didn't. Hi. <laughs> All right, welcome back, everybody. Okay, so um, I spent the last little bit mixing up colors for the cake. So, for instance, we have a couple different shades of green. I have a bunch of different shades of brown in there, a couple different shades of pink and blue, um, different versions of blacks and grays. It takes a long time, uh, the hat is everything, thank you. It takes a long time to mix up all of the colors for uh, a fancy cake uh, that you're making out of fondant. And typically what I find is I will end up turning my hands multicolors in the process. Sometimes I wear gloves, sometimes I don't. I should wear gloves more often, but they get in the way and they're kind of um, fucked up. Yes, I'm all mic'd up, uh, Barbara, so y'all can hear me. So the nice thing about this particular fondant cake is that it's Minecraft, and so all of the figures um, are like, they're like blocks. See how the characters are like little blocky characters? So really, um, all I have to do is make a whole bunch of blocks uh, and then assemble them together, and uh, it's simple as that. Uh, someone asked who this cake is for. This is for Romy's birthday. Her birthday is tomorrow. Her birthday party, anyway. Her birthday's on Monday, but her birthday party is tomorrow. So I'm trying to put together her um, Minecraft birthday cake. So I thought I would start with the figure that seems like it's the most easy. It's a pig. Um, something I can relate to. <laughs> That's so bad. Um, I made a big mess over here. I don't know how I did it. Ugh, I'm a big mess. Hey, Iris. Will you bring me a small glass of water, please? Forgot this very important thing. Hold on just a second. I gotta get something. Oh, I'm throwing things all over the place over here, bitches. I'm a mess. There, okay, I got what I needed. Sorry, okay. I'm new to this uh, periscoping while doing baked things. All right, so I'm gonna angle my camera down if I can. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's so very, oh, you know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna build on this little table here. Okay, so, it's a pig. Can't be that high. Hi, hi, oh, that's perfect, thank you, Iris. It's a little cup of water. It's exactly what I needed. I wish it was a vodka. Shot of vodka. That I could use. Okay, so here's the thing. When you're working with fondant, um, cornstarch is your best friend. And the reason for that is because fondant is very sticky and it will stick to your hands and it will be a nightmare. So I coat my hands in um, cornstarch to keep the fondant from sticking to me. It's quite good. Although I have black dye on my hand. I don't know how the fuck I did that. All right, so hold on. Okay, so a pig is a square head. I'm just gonna make me a square head here. Well, a square is like a cube, I guess. I don't know, I've never made a pig before that's a cube. Oh, Iris, will you bring Romaine a shot of vodka? The listeners are asking. Iris! Oh, Iris! Where's Iris? Oh, Iris is showing off a gift that Romy got earlier today. She got a, um, what is that, a Minecraft shirt? Si Senora. Si Senora. Now my wife is bilingual. She speaks Espanol. I do not speak Espanol. Okay, so I have a little square. Put that to the side. Now I gotta make a little teeny tiny square snout. I don't really like this making of figures bullshit. Um, because it's time consuming and I'm, I'd rather just buy them, which by the way, I do have plastic versions in case I hate the figures. Um, always have a plan B. I'm a big believer in plan B. Because, you know, you may think, oh, I can do this. This will be no problem. This will be super easy to make this figure. That's not always the case. Sometimes plan B is plan A. 
All right, so I made this cute little snout. All right, um, let's see. What else do I got to do here? Hold on, I got to look at my pig. I got to make a big, big piece for the body. That one seems big enough. Is that all these other pieces together? Is that big enough? I can't tell. Nope, it looks like it needs a little bit more. Starting to think maybe my head's too big. Not my head, the head for the pig. Iris, the listeners would like to know where the pictures are from the March cruise that I was supposed to post online but haven't done yet. So they're going to blame you instead, which frankly is better. I'd rather you get the blame for them not appearing than me. Yo no sé. What? What does that mean, yo no sé? You're not going to say? Is that what that means? Yo no sé? Am I right? Am I close? Nope, that head's too big. Okay, hold on. So sometimes when you're doing this, you'll realize, oh shit, I made the wrong thing. Is that a creeper on the stairs? No, that's Carrie. Okay, so I have to readjust the size of this head because I made it too big. I have a whole box full of tools that I use when making these cakes. It makes the process so much easier if you have the tools. Trust me on this one, I'm not making that part up. Okay, so the way that this little thing is, where's my knife here? I have to cut um, a little piece out of the back of the head here so that I can put this pig on the body of this thing, I don't know. It's very complicated, this whole process. I don't like it. So hang on while I concentrate so I don't cut my finger off. I already did that once this week. Don't need to do it again. So you kind of have to create like a, a little ledge there so that when you put it on the body, it kind of hangs out, see? All right, so how do you attach things to the body? This is the best part about fondant. Remember that little glass of water that Iris gave me? So you take your uh, paintbrush, just dip it in the little water until it's a little bit wet. Then you just paint some water on the area that you want to attach the other piece of fondant to. And then you put it together and it literally glues it together. Glue. Amazing. Sugar glue. That's what this is. It's just glue made of sugar. Simple as that. Okay, remember my little snout that I made? Let's put that on too. Okay. So we'll just do a little doo -doo -doo, little water right there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Just put a little water there. Throw this little snout on there. Make it flat. Now a snout has holes to breathe. Right? So I got my little pokey thingy. Poke a little hole. Poke a little hole. See? It's already starting to look like a pig. How about that? Pretty great, if you ask me. Now, as you can see, oh, shit, I dropped my pig. Ha! Hope I didn't damage him. So see, now see you have like some little spots of the black dye for my hand? Because, you know, I got dye all over the place. It's super easy to take that stuff off. Again, water is your friend when using fondant. You just put a little water on and brush away whatever that color is. You can use a paper towel, which I always have handy. To absorb, see, no more dye. So that's just a little something you kind of have to keep in mind when you're doing this. Okay, so what do I need now? I need legs for my weird little pig. Let me put him off to the side. Let me make a couple little legs. Okay, one little leg. I wonder if these legs are good enough. I hope so. The hard part is making them all the exact same size. That I'm not so good at. But we'll get there. That's what the exacto knife is for. It cuts really nicely. Bam! Two legs. Okay. I still got a couple legs to go. Alright. Let's see here. 
Boop, boop, boop. How's that? The leg? Ah, oh, it's a perfect size leg. See how easy this is, bitches? So, making these things really isn't that hard. It's just time consuming more than anything. Alright, I think I have four legs. I think they're roughly the same size. My dog Brandy loves watching you, Romaine. Well, hi to Brandy's dog. I'm glad you're enjoying my periscope. Boop, boop. A little water on the bottoms where the legs go. Throw on a little leg. Throw on a little leg. Throw on a little leg. Bam! Four little fucking legs. There's a pig. I'll do some more sculpting to make him look a little more blocky. Might trim some things away. Where's the pig? Wait till it hardens up a little bit. Piggy? Romy, does that look like a Minecraft pig? Yeah! Except there's no eyeballs. Well, I haven't put its eyeballs on. Now, see, his head keeps drooping forward. So sometimes all I'll do is I'll just take a little piece of fondant, stick it under there until he firms up. Just to hold him in place. He's cute. Um, so I'm going to add some eyes to him, some little black eyes and a tail. And that is... Minecraft pig. My Minecraft pig. See, don't they look almost identical? Oh, I didn't add... Oh, I could draw on some ears. Anyway, simple as that. Stupid stuff like that. <laughs> I got a lot of these stupid fucking figures to make, so um, now that I've shown you how to make a figure, I'm going to jump off. I think my next demonstration will be um, how to do, how to like actually lay the fondant on the cake, which by the way is the most stressful part, uh, because you have to do it pretty quick and you don't want it to fuck up, and if you fuck it up, then it's a nightmare. So um, I will try to tune you guys <laughs> in for that. Flappy wings. Um, and I'm going to finish this little pig, make him look even cuter. Uh, yes, oh, you have an ocelot. They want to see your ocelot. Ocelot. There's the ocelot that Romy is obsessed with. Meow. Okay, bitches, for now, I'm going to cut off and, uh... I have raw beef in my hand. For have time. Carrie hold the camera while you do that. I will try to do that. Okay, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. In the meantime, enjoy your day. I'll check in in a little while. Bye, bitches!